Hello all, this is Dr. Shilpi Reddy, Clinical Director, Kim's Cuddles Mother and Child Center, Kondapur, Hyderabad. Today, I really wanted to talk about cervical cancer. It is one of the most common cancers even in India right now. In spite of development of, you know, lot of healthcare and availability of obstetricians everywhere, still we have this cancer as one of the most common cancers in urban India also. That's the most common thing that I that nobody expects, right? Not only in rural India, even in urban India, where the richest of rich people are staying, cervical cancer is one of the most common cancers next to breast cancer. What is cervical cancer is something that everybody out there has to know and understand. Cervix is lower part of the uterus where it is exposed to the vagina. Now this lower part of the uterus which is called as cervix has cells which are exposed to the vagina and the external environment. Now these cervical cells can be infected with HPV virus. It is one of the virus known as human papilloma virus and this virus infection can change the lining cells DNA and this changes in DNA that happen in cervical cells can cause the cancer. But the luckiest thing is once the HPV infection happens, it has a very long period where it can be found out. So usually cervix can cause uh, ca can be a cause of concern in infections and there can be acute infections that is new infections there can be chronic infections long-standing infections there can be cellular changes the changes in the DNA of the cells we can catch and it can be asymptomatic cells and uh, you know ascus is another presentation of cervical cancer where uh, non-specific cells are seen sometimes CIN 1, 2, 3 and cancer. So you can understand from cervicitis to development of cancer, you can have good 5 to 10 years. That also means that effectively one pap smear that if you can do every year, you can catch any of these lesions and you can prevent cervical cancer. There are several other reasons why you get cervical cancer also. Uh, it can be exposure to a lot of smoking, even passive smoking, exposure to multiple number of sexual partners, you can have a higher incidence of HPV infections and also sexually transmitted diseases that can increase the incidence of cervical cancer. Not only multiple sexual partners, early menarche and late menopause and lot of years of sexual activity can also cause one of the higher high risk factors, can also be one of the high risk factors for cervical cancer. Other than that, there is another very common thing is if you have low immunity levels also, you can be one of the uh, high infectious candidate, high uh, risk candidate for infections and thereby development of cervical cancer. But cervical cancer is definitely preventable. Not only preventable, it can be detected as early as possible. Now, if somebody who is doing an annual pap smear can catch the changes inside the cervix and prevent it even before cancer comes. So you can use strategies to prevent. And there is one very important strategy that you can really adapt to prevent cervical cancer is vaccination. Yes, we have vaccination against HPV virus. Uh, that is called a cervical cancer vaccine. There are two brands available. One is Gardasil and the other one is Cervarix. The doses are different, the number of doses and num the pattern of taking it is different. But yes, it can be given from 9 years of age, that is children also, till about 42 years of age. For somebody who is uh, taking as young before even exposure to sexual activity, two doses would be good enough. And somebody who is planning to take the vaccine after starting of sexual activity, do check the pap smear HPV DNA testing. If your HPV DNA testing is negative and you are not infected with HPV virus, then you are the ideal candidate to go ahead with vaccination. Anybody starting vaccination after becoming an adult or after sexual activity, then it is about three doses. It is different for cervix and Gardasil. But yes, it is one of the best methods to prevent cervical cancer. Other than that, 
people ask us very frequently that how do we even uh, you know prevent cervical cancer one is pap smear but reporting to your doctors with spurious complaints like pain when you have intercourse bleeding in between cycles foul discharge recurrent infections and uh, you know sometimes a fishy odor and abdominal pain these are some very spurious complaints that uh, women often neglect they think they'll go in 6 months or 1 year or next month or something like that and they get delayed and not only this you know unexpected weight loss and lot of uh, you know loss in appetite and losing weight is another very important thing that women should keep in their mind in the age group where they are vulnerable so cervical cancer at times we see even for 16 18 20 years women also and somebody uh, most commonly we see after 30 years of age but rare forms are always there and there are two different types of cervical cancer one is squamous cell cancer and adeno cancer adeno uh, cancer now treatment of cervical cancer is also very very important the early you detect the easy the treatment and curable the treatment because stage 1 is almost curable and stage 4 is almost inoperable so there are so many modalities of diagnosing staging and treating the most common being surgery radiotherapy and followed by chemotherapy depending on the type of cervical cancer the treatment options are chosen but the earlier you detect the easier the treatment and the faster the recovery not only this sometimes even pre cancerous lesions if we can identify we can actually conserve the uterus and somebody who is planning pregnancy can also go ahead plan pregnancy and then take care of the treatment later at times we also see cervical cancer in pregnant women so it's that that we are unfortunate that women are not going ahead and getting their pap smear done regularly but one pap smear every year is life saving and prevents cervical cancer with the maximum possible ch chances and not only this vaccination is one of the most effective way to prevent cervical cancer do take care of your girl child and do take care of your children in vaccinating them as soon as possible not only this there there is a vaccine called gardasil 9 for vaccination against nine strains of human papilloma virus covering not only cervical cancer anogenital cancers and oropharyngeal cancers also so this is all about cervical cancer and this is one of the easy and preventable form of cancer which every woman should take care and all the men out there it's a shout out to y'all to take care of the women in your life and make sure they are safe